Welcome back, everyone. Episode three. No, four. Yeah. Episode four. So the whole bottom, the back is done. I'll show you. So that's what it looks like. Came along really well. Just gotta do the inside now. I'm using a uh, mechanical sander instead of hand sanding it. Just uh, make it go a little quicker. I'm not going to go too crazy on the inside like I did on the outside. Um, I'm not going to strip all the paint off. I'm just going to sand it down really, really good, really smooth. And then, and then paint it. But yeah. I will get back at it. Got the uh, bottom all cleaned, sanded down. I didn't go crazy with the sanding on the bottom. It's a really solid blue. I almost don't have to even do anything, but I really just don't like that blue. It's a little sample of what it's gonna look like on the inside, though. Kind of like a a dull gray. Doesn't look terrible with the blue. That's kind of actually growing on me. I just said I hated it. <laughs> oh well, it'll be gray. Blend in with the aluminum. But uh, yeah, it's finally ready. Interior paint. That I haven't decided. That might be gray. It might be green. It'll probably be green. I think I'll do green. But that's it. Ready for uh, ready for paint. Alright, got the uh, tier done for the most part. Looks pretty good. I do like it. I ended up going gray right here also. I'm uh, going to do one more coat. 
after this dries. I haven't decided, but I might make the benches black. I don't know. Might just leave it just like it is. But it's uh, almost there. Well, it's finally done. My camera cut out. So I missed uh, a lot of what I was doing. Just give you a walkthrough. Got a cleat. Just a little tie up rope right here. Got an anchor in here. Got two paddles. Just got them strung up just so they're out of the way I have a Minn Kota 55 pound thrust trolling motor so curious to see how that's gonna work I had to add this extra block here because I needed it so I'm gonna have to do something to fix that transom on the inside that's what the transom looks like just a one by six. I also added, you can see down there, a drain plug. This canoe did not have one. You know how you are when you're fishing. You get water in a boat. It's impossible to flip these things upside down and get all the water out. So I just added the plug. Uh, let's check this out. This is my battery box. Also got a little wrench, just tied up, just whenever I need it, super useful I found. But that's waterproof, it's pretty nice, it's a nice motor.